sure. Should be configuration and being window. Oh, there you go. So you got 48.42 call marks. Oh, I'm not going to start changing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so we got 48 here, point something. And uh, I guess it's running okay. at 50 megahertz, is it? Yeah, 50 megahertz. Yeah. Okay, well, but, but you're not going to remember that, so I just write it down <laughs> here. Thank you. But what does that number say? <laughs> it's just a core mark, core mark score. It's, it's just is a it comparison it? score. It doesn't say anything. Special, I got, I on my core mark, I got 1.5. Uh, around that is going. Yeah, yeah. But that this has a different memory control, very faster memory than this. This is a D8, okay. D in 0 nano ultra board. Yeah. So it, it has DDR memory and, or used, no, it actually used to have an SD run. And uh, at this board has DDR2. So that could be a difference. Yeah, anyway. Is that one camera check? Uh, yeah, that's good. Thanks. Okay, so the, now I'll load the more one KX. Moron <laughs> KX. <laughs> also. Moron KX. <laughs> oh, your implementation just got the nickname. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we can see we have an open risk zero zero, rev zero. That's what it says. Okay, so we run. But you are on the same speed. Yours is zero. Yeah, oh. yeah, 50 megahertz. Okay. Yeah, and here you can see it's well, the cache is smaller actually on this. It's half the cache, but since it's two ways two cache, way. so it's okay. pretty much comparable. to see not be both the synthesis results. It's not with me here. Right. Did you look though to see which one was bigger or smaller? Mm, well I think watch that. Uh, what? 80? 80. 80. <laughs> really? Oh well. <laughs> I stand corrected. But you said you ah. were the test yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I broke something. So it might be yeah. wrong. <laughs> okay, so that looks pretty good, actually, yeah, yeah. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That looks more optimistic. Core mark did you get in the end? Huh? What, what was the value you got for your core mark? Uh, 80. 80. I'm just looking at the, the published core mark scores. So 80? Can I see what? 80.2. How are you getting 80? That's pretty good. <laughs> Is it the cage? Is it the two-way cage? Yeah. No, it's not, but it's what I, this is on the cappuccino, yeah. and I think it's, it's actually faster when it comes to branches, because I have worked pretty much on the fetch, fetch stage and merged it together with the caches pretty well, so it's, it should be pretty fast on the, on the branches. Yeah. That's sweet, man. Hey, um, it, maybe I don't have the sources you do. I <laughs> think you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's run something. Still. Sit down together with it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at it. Let's That's very cool. run the dry stone test. Oh, well, everyone should start using ML1K accent. Moran. Yeah. Moran. Um, I guess um, we want to implement the MMU. Yeah, that's that's one big thing that yeah. would be cool to have. Mm. Still, with the cost, we can do real software that's not using the MMU. Yeah. 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 
without delay slot as well. <laughs> yeah, that's less important. <laughs> okay, so or 1200 gets 1. 1.08. And what does that mean? Well, is it the number of instructions per clock size? Uh, uh, it's the dry stone it's it's rough it's estimate it's of uh, uh, operations per clock size. But this is with this is with the with the latest tool chain. So yeah. if you're yeah. using yeah. the old tool chains, you're not gonna see it. that's 92 0 0.92. I think I've got with that. So this is with the 4.8 based. GCC. And what was the difference? I think 92, 0 0.92 I have got with the old 4. Point. And you've got 80 with the new one? No, I got 1.08. 1. 1. 1. 0. 0. This is a, it's another test. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Oh, yeah. It's like 0 0.92 mm -hmm. versus 1.08. So you got 20% up there. But no, no you're wrong. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's right. more than yeah. Well, is uh, one or the other possible to run faster? It's right. It's right. Uh, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, but. What Julius showed was that we still have, there's still some work to be done on the synthesis, so, so I, they, okay. they, you can't really run it that much faster. But I have choose to have it at 50 megahertz because that's what the or, or 1200 has always run at, at okay. this board. So but if I would have run it at some other speed, it wouldn't really have been any good comparison. It would, be, it would have been another comparison. Yeah, yeah, that would. Okay, so let's load the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're both hacking away on it. So actually, I've just looked up the core mark scores, and that 80, 80 is about the same as a, a Cortex M4. Really? 50 megahertz clock. No way. But and, and they're even getting. Um, That's with the Keel compiler, not with GCK. Keel, and they've got code density. It's all almost all 16-bit instructions, so a, a fair share of 32-bit memory is more useful to you. Yeah. Took a while to navigate around the core mark score site to find out what was equivalent. Yeah, cool. And then you have to decode what the actual processor really is from the RAM. Yeah, yeah. 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 So next is the Sandy Bridge. <laughs> 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 I just have a look at what the epiphany is in comparison. Yeah, but it's not getting the reset, obviously. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, and Epiphany gets 194,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm misreading. Only so it's only 19,000. <laughs> Does open risks in the matrix? Yeah. Does Colmark scale to like get better on? It does. It does. It does. Yeah, I mean that's. I mean, that's twelve hundred per core. That's okay. So core. with a more, <coughs> more on. <laughs> I don't like this name. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like with a. It's like with a. Definitely and moron. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're always moron. Extended to if you're not using it, you're a moron. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Moron, not to use. <laughs> Apparently so. So it's 1.3. Ah, it's the same ratio. Ah, it's 31. Yeah, is it the same improvement ratio? No, no. The core mark is better, but it's still pretty good. I agree. That could mean that the cache actually does influence the core mark more. Rest of MIPS is pretty much code loops. Does anyone know anything about caches? If you have a two way versus a one way of double the size, that's generally a huge improvement. One way? Uh, two, double. Way. Two, yeah. way, two way. But it's usually you can say that having two ways is like doubling the cache. Mm. So 
but I have half the size of the for 1200 has uh, 16 gigabytes and this has eight. Yeah. I reckon. I reckon it's two way. It's probably giving it some of the advantage. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show. But that's really cool, man. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> I've never seen the, the back to back like that. This gives like a consistent advantage for the more. Yes. Yeah. All right. Nice work, man. It's good. Okay, so. That's the MR I want to get stuff. I don't know what's next because I can't get my <laughs> screen back. So. Yeah, it's me. So it's all available on GitHub, by the way. It's all up there. So. Happy hacking, as Olaf would say.